There you got it. Hi. How you doing? I'm okay. You're looking. You're looking sharp. Because <laughs> parts of my armor are sharp. Because parts of your armor are sharp. Yeah. It's like it's like the majority of the armor sets in this game. His immenseness found that funny. Oh. <laughs> really? That's a big laugh. Oh. I have had an idea though. Oh. You can stop now and make this. Oh. Okay. It's. Very yep. funny. Okay. That joke. Thank you, immenseness. Anyway. Was good. <laughs> Have you hit your heads today, immenseness? What's going on? I hit my head every day. <laughs> and thus I build my prime lump. Actually, that's a really good how does he ever leave this room? Uh, the, uh, the big, like, holes on the side. That's why it's not a full wall. Oh, he just, like, hops down into the door. Hunter knees. Hunter knee. Knees. 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 Knee! I thought you said needs. Hunter needs. Hunter needs. They should not be ignored. Keep your hunter well fed today. Please, I'm starving. You're always starving. Yes. That's what you get for having a black hole in your stomach? Well, I prefer it wasn't there, but I don't really have a choice in the matter. Talking of stomach-based black holes, that reminds me of something which you might think is strange. Okay. And I'll, I'll tell you it when we've reached our destination. What's our destination? Initiating docking sequence. The mothership has landed. Time to initiate the stratagem. Okay, fine. It's not a spaceship. It's a gaming router. And not just any gaming router. The Radix X 6600 gaming router by MSI. <laughs> Who I must once again thank very much for sponsoring this video and honestly I'm really excited to talk to you about this thing because I kind of really never thought about it. But obviously the bit of kit that powers your connection when you're playing online games or other online activities makes a huge difference. This thing will reduce your ping massively, reduce your latency massively. It will automatically detect the activity that you're currently doing and focus your bandwidth to support it. You're streaming? Cool. Cool, it's got a mode for that. You're playing online games? Cool, it's got a mode for that. You're having an online meeting? It's got a mode for that. On top of, of course, it looking really cool in the dark. Oh, and hey, it's also going to literally boost your speed up to 6,600, hence the name, megabits per second. That is ludicrous, up to 6 gigahertz, able to support Wi-Fi 6E, along with a powerful processor and cooling system, so you are always flying at maximum speed. Oh, and it can manage and prioritize multiple devices connected to it, giving each person what they currently need for the activity that they're doing, which is just really lovely in a busy multi-device household. In any case, yeah, you'd be surprised how much of a difference having a router actually designed for what it is that you do makes, and if you are interested, well, get it at the link down below. But for now, on we go. This is our destination. It's cold. This is why I ask these things. Well, look, there you go. You flex and your warm juices flow. Only because I have them in my item set in this game. You have reached your destination. Sorry, I have a side side gig as a sat nav for it. Hunting isn't isn't paying enough. Do you do you do it while you're hunting for the nobody else that's here? No, I lie. I lie in carts and and give directions. Oh, I only tell the truth in carts. <laughs> well, it, it's honestly, it makes me a really bad set now because it's like, turn left here, and then, but no, it's right. <laughs> Imagine, just, it, it, the thing is, you would have to make it so it lies every time, so it's just like, oh, you. <laughs> But it's not always like the opposite. It's just impossible to follow. It's like turn left. There's there's no there's nowhere there's nothing there. Turn left. There is a field. Drive through it. It's a shortcut. Trust me. Oh, satnavs could be really creepy if they were taken over. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not something that I, I would trust. And I guess if you had blind following of it, irrelevant of how actually bad the directions looked. To be fair, that does happen. People have driven off bridges because of Google Maps. Surely not. I, I swear, maybe not literally a bridge, but like they they drove in, like off the road into some water. That would be so funny. You just stood looking over a cliff. 
I swear then, I remember that being a story. You hold your phone over your face. Well, this is a road there. Pull the phone down. You just see ocean in front of you. Back up. No, there is a road there. You know what? I'm going to drive forward. Oh, God. Oh, Tidal Majorala. Is that the title of this episode? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, he's, he's fucking gorgeous. And he's trying to eat me. Please stop trying to eat me. I'd like I'd like to not be I am so circle. excited to face him again. He is genuinely in the running for my favorite subspecies of all time. Pretty cool for my awareness. So I, I, I hope to be pleasantly surprised even past that. And you, you do have good awareness. I, I can only hope that's true. I do like that he was like, Stop talking about Satnav and fight me! I, I will say, I didn't expect this to be on an ice map. I thought he would be more of like a beachy guy, you know? Ah, the bouncing water scales! Oh. Oh. He just almost hit me with a reflected blob. Oh, I love reflected blobs. Yeah, you know what they say about reflected blobs. Oh, I'd love using insect live against a oh, look at That's you Jumping out, yeah. Leaping out of his trunk snack snack. Trunk snack? Yeah, leaping out <laughs> of his trunk. I'm a trunk snack. <laughs> I'm a Get trunk over here, snack. elephants. Um, <laughs> goddamn sexy elephants. Come on, come on. You know you want it. I'm a trunk snack. I'm a trunk snack. Woo. That was a sexy ow, elephant ow, noise. Ow. Help. <laughs> You're okay, man. Just get out of the snake. I I, Just get I, out I, of the snake. I don't feel okay. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you about my stomach black hole. Yeah. Well, when I was a kid, I really, obviously, you know, as you do when you're a kid, you're like, I just want to eat loads of, like, sweets and, 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 and lovely treat foods. And, oh, why can't I just eat all of the fun foods all of the time? That's not just when you're a kid. <laughs> and also when you're an adult. Why can't I? Oh, look. Watch him. Watch him bounce. Bounce. Ow. Look at that! He did a double bounce and hit you! Oh, it's so good! Honestly, I don't even know what happened. My camera was not facing the right way to understand that. You're just being repeatedly sniped. Yeah, I see that. But yeah, well, I thought a great solution of the ability to eat whatever you wanted, but it have no negative effects on you. Uh -huh. What if you could open a wormhole in your throat that whenever you ate something, it went into the wormhole and then got spat out in a random location within 100 meters of you. It's very specific about that. Yeah, that is very specific. But also, what about air? Well, I'm, I mean, I didn't think... I'm not saying I thought it through, okay? I am saying well, I just clearly. thought it would be a cool idea. Like, you sit down, you're just about to have dinner, warm throat wormholes opened, and then just somebody within 100 meters can be walking along and just seeing random food falling out of a pocket in the sky. <laughs> Got a bit of saliva on it, but it's still edible. <laughs> I'm not saying they're going to go underneath the sky food pocket and open their mouth. I mean, I don't know. It's free food. Oh. No! No? God damn it. Why not? Well, I was enjoying that. You should keep enjoying it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, but now I have to run all the way back to keep enjoying it. Hey, it happens to all of us. And like a large set of stairs, I just don't want to go up. Yeah, I mean, that, that's normal, though. 1,000. 1,000? I once went up 1,000 stairs. How Did you count? No, it was like this tourist place in, sta in stairs that had 1,000 spains. I really said that the wrong way around. I'm sorry, but my brain just it shut off for a moment while you were saying that. Within this building, there lies 1,000 spains! That's the biggest building I've ever seen. But also, I, I totally wouldn't believe it. Like, I would count if I was doing that. Like, I would not believe... Like, it would it's probably like 1,001 or... Well, you'd, you'd, you'd read the sign and be like, Ah, it's not exactly 1,000. There's I, no I'm way. just saying, it's either 1,001 or 999. There's no way that they did... But that it took exactly 1,000 steps to get where they wanted to go from where they wanted to go. Any of you from. holding up all the other tourists behind you as you slowly go up, counting at a Sorry, time. do you think it would it'd be like... One. Hmm, yeah, that's a stair. <laughs> Two. Like, no, I'm just, I'm just counting as I go up the stairs. What if you lost count? Then you can't go back. You can't start again. But also, I, I probably would be holding up the different the, the other tourists because, fuck me, it's a thousand stairs. <laughs> I'd need a bloody break is what I'd need. Make me go up like 30 stairs and like I'm ready to take, it, take a nap for a while. Can I please be allowed to heal for a moment? Carter, I'll miss you. It's been fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to die, but it's nice that you're just watching What do you this. want me to do? Ask him politely to stop murdering you. At least be attacking the monster? <laughs> I was giving you a serenade song. What do you prefer? You can do that while attacking the monster. I can't sing and swing a sword. Who can do that? You? When's the last time you swung a weapon while harmonizing? No one said anything about harmonizing. You're the only one singing. I didn't say the singing had to be good, just that it was while you were swinging. Harmonizing is when multiple people are singing. What about when you do multiple voices at once? You can't physically do that as a human. Yeah, really talented ventriloquists can make it sound like they're talking at the same time as their, as their puppets. That's two people. 
<laughs> it's ventriloquist. Nobody can talk twice at the same time. Voice masters. The ancient order of the voice masters. To be fair, I should correct myself. Mongolian throat singing is singing it, 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 it harmonizing at the same time. Well, there you go. What about Mongolian throat singers? Well, I, I just answered that before you asked. Good. I'm glad we got there in the end. What about Mongolian throat singing ventriloquists? That doesn't seem like a thing that should exist. It does sound like an amazing, like, raiding party, though. Like, that was, that was Genghis Khan's oh, special party? forces. The Mongolian throat singing ventriloquists. Oh, I get it. Because, because, of, because of the word Mongolian, it must be a raiding party. <laughs> Hey, hey, all right, you ask any given human on this planet, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word Mongolian? It's going to be Genghis Khan. Mongolian throat singing for me, but also Genghis Khan's not far, but it depends on the person. I mean, Genghis Khan might have been able to also, throat sing. Also, did you say, you did you, did, you said any given person on the planet, right? Is that what you said? <laughs> well, on average, the most common answer. Okay, on average, everyone. I was going to say, because if you ask anyone from Mongolia, they'll probably say something else. I mean, to be fair, I, <laughs> you'd probably still be very aware of Genghis Khan. Well, yeah, of course you would be, but that's probably not the first thing you think of in Mongolia. <laughs> It'd be like home or something like that, you know? It'd be like home! Oh, you've got the pin! No, 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 no! That's a pin? Yeah, that's a pin! It took like half the zone, and, and then it, like, it was like impossible to dodge, and it's a pin? I'm trying to stop him, I'm trying to hit him, got it! No, oh, you're being well, snake! I just, I, just, I just fought my way out of it, it's fine. Oh, okay, cool. I am being yelled at in the middle, though, now. Ow, ow, I'm just being forcibly hit before I can even move. Note the sound he makes when he puts scales out, by the way. It's, like, really harmonic. It's quite beautiful. Again, it's not harmonic. It's musical. You know, man, real, real elitist son of a bitch. You make fun of me when I use wrong words. Just because I know these words more than you do doesn't, doesn't like, change the situation. You could hear a lovely song and be like, oh, that's a really pleasant harmony. And you don't need someone going up going, mm, actually, all right, you know what they mean. No, no, because that's the wrong term. Like, just say it's a pleasant song. It sounds, it's a nice melody, maybe? You goddamn sound nerds. <laughs> it's just the wrong word. Just, just use the right word. <laughs> it's melodic, I think, is what you want. How do you like? Tidal versus normal. I mean, it, it's just normal with more. It's not like anything is lost. So yeah, it's pretty solid. You prefer the coloring? I, I just think it'd be weird not to. He goes from like a relatively plain coloring to just being very pretty. Hey, his normal coloring is still very vibrant. The greens and the yellows. I mean, it's vibrant greens and yellows, but that's very plain for a snake. I don't think there is a monster in the series that is bigger and less threatening. If that makes sense. I'm thinking he's pretty threatening, personally. Yeah, yeah but he's not like a super high tier monster, but he is massive. And I, I think that's uh, quite a rare I combination. Know. I don't think he's massive. He's long. He's not massive. But he's all curled up, stood up. He's very bulk. Yeah, like, he's but bigger he, he's than long like, and essentially thin. every flagship. I don't think so. Like uh, you gotta, you gotta like count the width into the mass. Like I don't think he's he is heavier than every flagship. He's wider than every flagship, and he's longer than every flagship. Like what? What he's are you? He's definitely not wider than every flagship. He's a snake. Of course he is. His widest point at the big trunk in the middle of him is wider than the end, like most wide ones. Well, I mean, in one point, sure. I'm I'm not talking about the one point. I'm talking about the monster as a whole. Like I, I don't think he's the heaviest. Yeah, but when you measure the width of a snake, you go for the largest point in the center trunk. That's how you know what mice to feed them. Okay, I'm not trying to feed him. I'm trying to judge his size. Are you sure you're not trying to feed him? Because you've done a good job twice so far. <laughs> Imagine getting a turf war between Tidal Nigerala and Zamtrios and the sixth gen of Monster Hunter. That'd be cool. Assuming they keep turf wars. I mean, I feel like they would keep them in some capacity, even if they're not exactly the same thing. To be fair, I could totally see turf wars being a, a generational mechanic. I don't think so. Like, I mean, again, even if you remove the name, remove the way it functions, Having monsters fight each other is just a net positive for the series. And it's oh, I guess forever. that's true. I suppose it'd feel like a step backwards or a bit disappointing if they didn't have, like, the cool, like, battles. Yeah, like, even if it wasn't, like... I think what they would do in the future if they were to change it more drastically would be make it not, like, a set animation. Just make it so that they have attacks that interact with each other and they can just sort of, like, choose between them. And so it's not the same every time. But it also doesn't feel like they're just randomly doing their general attacks and happening to hit each other. Oh, that would be so cool. I feel like it'd be very involved, but it would be very cool. Well, yeah, but that's the thing is the... The better that gaming technology gets and the more time they have to work within similar engines, the more that type of stuff's real. Oh, uh, Monster Hunter with unlimited time and budget restraints where they can just do literally everything they want would be the coolest fucking I'll, thing. I'll, I'll be real with you. I think we're getting pretty close on at least one of those. Like, the budget for Monster Hunter 6 is going to be the biggest budget that 
Monster Hunter's ever had, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, actually, that's a really good point. Like, I'm really excited to see what they do with it, because the, guaranteed, they've not had more money for a game until that. Oh, God, I... I am pinned. Ow! He just bit me while pinning you. No, I, I think he bit me, and you just happened to be where I was being eaten. Oh, okay. They just hate it when that happens. Yeah, I don't like it when people get bitten. Your friend's getting, like, killed by a constrictor snake, and you try and rescue him, and then you get bitten in the face? You know what else sucks? Being the one being eaten by a constrictor snake. What? You're just getting squeezed. You're not being eaten yet. That still kills you. It's sad, though. You'd have to, you have to kill a snake that's constricting someone because you're never going to force them off. Just get a pair of pliers. Oh, my God. A forklift? A forklift? Depends on the size of the snake. Just, like, drive it down the coils and try and pull it. I'm not sure you can out-grease a snake squeeze. I mean, have you tried? I mean, no, because I've not had a been in a situation that that's, like, something that I've had to consider, but I, I still don't think it would quite happen. Well, I mean, you, were, you sounded like you were an expert. God, I imagine there's, there is few more, like, horrifying fates for any, any given creature than being constricted to death. Because, like, every time you breathe... You breathe out and your chest goes in a little bit, it tightens and so on and so forth until it just lights out. Yeah, you'd be like our lot until you until you have the breath to say out. That does that does sound like my life. What saying our lot until you're out of breath and can't. I do yeah, I totally could see why you imagine this would be like a, a beach a kinda tropical beach holiday type vibe snake. I mean I mean like I guess he does fit it, the vi the colours of an ice map. But it just feels like he would fit in nicely on a beach map to me. Like it, well, it's almost like Aurora Borealis theme. Well, yeah, I mean, but also like just the concept of like bright, bright creature on beach make makes sense. He looks like coral more than he does Aurora Borealis to me. Oh yeah, you could totally coral highlands this guy, and it would be perfect. Yeah, let me out. I'm glad you got it. But they're gonna put me back in because you're not allowed to escape from prison. I think. Are we in prison? In our hearts and minds. If you mean what that quote is referring to, it's not prison. <laughs> well, obviously not. Well, then th why did you say prison, I think? <laughs> because piss piss pissing ants fucking hell. <laughs> I've, I've never had the visual of an ant pissing in my head before this moment. <laughs> and I want you to know I'm not happy that you've just done that for no reason in particular. <laughs> Like, I didn't need to think of how ants fucking relieve themselves. <laughs> Such a, like, specific pissing expletive. Ants. Like, you stub your toe. Ah, oh, pissing ants. Well, yeah, if you, maybe if you, like, stub your toe on a fucking ant somehow. <laughs> okay, but, but just because I want to be sure, what do you think that quote is referring to? When you think you're done with a hobby and then something happens that makes you want to get back into it. No, no. Yeah, and then you say, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. No, that's not it. <laughs> that's that's when people use it. It's a quote from a movie, first of all. Yes, but it's colloquially used. Like, like if you start playing a game you haven't played for years, but used to play it constantly, you'd be like, Oh, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. And everyone would understand what you're saying and be like, yeah. Yeah, because it's a, it's a meme reference to a movie quote. What the hell was that? Why did that sound like a roar that wasn't... Natural is wrong. Because it probably is. Oh my god, there's a frenzied red fucking kezu! Why is there a f frenzied red kezu here? I don't know. I have four potions left, and the situation is not conducive to his existence. <laughs> it's not! You do not want lightning balls chucked at you while you're trying to fight a Najarala. No, it's, it's not necessary. Look how purple his lips are! I've been eating some blueberries. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, conceptually speaking, you know, it, it feels like something he'd enjoy. I mean, I feel like it'd be hard for him. No, because he's got a big sucky tube I mouth. I lollipops aren't really destroyed by sucking so much as licking. I mean, Kezu can lick. He can, but I don't think he can lick necessarily better than the best of them. I mean, exhibit A. Yeah, but that's, that's that's just a normal licking situation. Yeah, that's a normal. Yeah, that that's one of those classic normal licking situations. Bounce that out, right? It's <laughs> so good. How did it bounce that direction? It didn't even make logical sense to me. That's why I was standing there. Oh, it doesn't obey physics. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it just bounces in the direction of Hunter. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for, was that it would just be somewhat somewhat random. I mean, it's not light, you know? You can't predict it. Crazy. Yeah, it's hard to predict water. Everyone knows that. Well, if I, you know, splodge some water up in a mirror, it could go anywhere. Yeah, nobody could ever guess that. Well, I'm glad old purple lips is left. 
This is pretty tough. Yeah, this is brutal. I didn't really know what I was supposed to do. He, he hits really hard, and it feels like he's got a lot of health. And thank you, Kezu. That's that's what I was looking for. Uh, do you like my purple lips? No. Lips is a very creepy word to say, like a goblin. We are recording this on World Goth Day, so you know he's he's just he's is just. That a, is that a fact? Is that a thing? That is that is a th yeah. I mean, there's days for like everything if you want to get technical, but yes. Is there a technical day? Probably. <laughs> It's like World Hot Dog Day. Like I, I thought you were gonna say World Hot Day. <laughs> it's World Hot Day. Everywhere is hot today. <laughs> no, Cotton. That's just climate change. Oh no, that would be World Hot every every day. This is absolutely terrible. Like this, this is this is the suckiest. This is, you know. Yeah. Oh, he's exhausted. And, and and okay, okay. Now is the time. He's just flicking his tongue, trying to get a read on the situation. I am bugging him. Feeding his pituary glands. You know how it is. His pituary glands? Uh, the organ that lets a snake see heat. What is, what's that? Well, detect heat more accurately. Oh God, Kezu's little leech purple lip face yeah. just burrowed through and out of Najarala's stomach and said, yeah, "He is just firing shock projectiles through the Najarala." Yeah, it's like, hello. He, he almost paralyzed him. He flinched him. It looked like he was getting paralyzed for a second. All right. All right. We got to take advantage of tired time. I am attempting to very much so. I'm trying to get a mount during tired time as well, which would be great. It's just a bit hard with the whole red Kezu thing going on. I have no idea what the spot I'm supposed to be attacking on him is, to be honest with you. As far yeah, as I, just, I just hit him. You know, I'd yeah, often just I'm assume doing. that just hitting his big big squishy body is probably yeah, the way. It's better than not hitting him. Is that a limp? Is that a limp? That looks limpy. I have no idea what a limp is like for a snake. How does a snake, yeah, does a snake limp? To be fair, he has legs. He does have legs. I don't know why he's got legs, but he's got legs. Like, I don't think I've seen him use them once, but he has them. Oh no, the paintball ran out. Like a, like a legless lizard, you know? Legless isn't a lizard, he's an elf. <laughs> oh, sorry, I must have misremembered his, like, little fuck tongue. Elves can do that. It's just it's just a cosmetic surgery. <laughs> just Lord of the Rings. Nothing's oh, changed asleep. except every now and then when Legolas scenes, he just has a just little flick in and out. It's not, it's not even like all of the elves. It's just him. It's just him. That's no archon. A fucking conchu just launched onto his head while he's asleep. Oh my god! Cut! Get off! What are you doing? It's, it, it wants to have a nap in a more pleasant place. Conchu, do you mind? To me, wait. To be fair. There is twice as many bubbles as a normal sleeping monster. I think the Kanchu is also asleep. <laughs> this seems good. It's not. It's much warmer than the floor. Well, little kid. <laughs> okay. I mean, surely you should not attack that spot. Given, well, I just attack that. next to it instead of the Kanchu. I mean, the Kanchu fell off. I think you hit the Kanchu. Oh no. Oh, there's a shadow on the ceiling. Oh God, Kazu, go away. That's a lovely sound. So you just love it when the ceiling yells at you. Oh, oh what do we do? Party, party time! Ow! I have no healing left. Yeah, I'm uh, I, I'm gonna change zones for a moment. I, I'm thinking. I like that. I like that a lot. Kezu was sniffing for violence. Oh god, I'm being shocked. Yeah. Oh god, I'm being shocked. Oh god! Oh god, this too tiny! Just stop! Stop! stop. You can't just keep going the entire- Okay! Oh. Look, their little legs can get them really, really quite far. Good distance on them. Uh, yeah, they're both still here. Oh, he's asleep! Distract the Kezu! I mean, I, I will as best as I can. Uh... I'm gonna go wake him up. I'm doing it. Oh, oh, die! 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 Yes! Oh! Oh! Oh, thank God. That, uh, that, that took some, some real good doing. I haven't done... What? Kessie, what are you doing? I'm thinking we might need to... <laughs> Mind if I put I'm, uh, I'm thinking we might need G-Rank weapons soon, is, is where I'm at with the situation. Oh, I like that. I was like, what the hell, Kessie? You had one job. Protect me while I'm asleep. God. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> oh, for the- I could see that coming from the other side, but I could tell you wouldn't see it on your screen. It was just a real dramatic irony kind of moment. Oh, we're both getting frenzied. So, um, I, I guess we're going home ill. I just want to carve some more peel. Of all the monsters to interrupt a hunt, a frenzied red kezu. Yeah, it was a good time for that. Don't- uh, Look, I know we're leaving, but you don't have to be upset about it. Actually, we're in a cup! complete screen and then just off to the right <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you see his neck slam into frame just as we got sent away <laughs> just yelling at us off screen yeah my end screen is just an extendable red kezu neck while i'm running away all righty then ladies and gentlemen that's water snake and what a snake it is oh it's funny because snakes <laughs> and everybody knows snakes are some funny shit 
first you were yeah words. Yeah words. Big wet long. No, I, I don't want you to talk about his immenseness. I mean, hog that again. was basically his immenseness hog. You've now faced one, two, three, four, five. G rank subspecies. You've never hunted before. What's the ranking? Tiger stripe Xanthrius, because I really like Xanthrius. Uh, Tidal Najarala. Berserk Tetsukabra. I know one of the other ones was Desert Celtus. What was the other one? Ash Ketchawatcha. Ah. Desert Celtus Ash Ketchawatcha. Ooh. Okay. But more because I prefer the visuals of Desert Celtus to Ash Ketchawatcha. The fight of Ash Ketcha, I think, is a little bit well, better. We'll see how the next one shuffles things. But for now, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good one. Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye